Alright boys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a day in my life. So I'm gonna show you guys my entire day as a hybrid athlete that is now trying to build as much muscle as possible boys. So without further ado, let's make our breakfast. Today is Friday and if you guys have seen the video where I show you guys my new uh, training split, I'll put a card over here if you haven't seen that already. But uh, today is actually my long run boys. So we're gonna have a 12 to 15 run right now in the morning. It's 6.30 a.m. and uh, we're gonna have an arm workout in the afternoon boys. So we have a lot of training for today so we gotta fuel ourselves. I don't know if you guys have noticed but the diet is actually different. I'm actually taking uh, protein in the morning and also taking coffee in the morning. Uh, but I don't want to talk too much about my diet in this video because I'm gonna make a separate video showing you guys my new diet. Basically right now I'm just taking a protein coffee because since my goal right now is to build muscle. Um, usually in the past training for the marathon I would actually just take uh, carbohydrates for my runs but now I'm trying to maximize protein synthesis so I'm taking protein as well like before my runs and that's a very quick way of getting your protein in you literally put your uh, two scoops of protein in your coffee and you make a protein coffee I actually got this idea from Nathan French which is also a hybrid athlete yeah it's actually pretty good and we're doing that this morning and now let's drink that read a bit of our book and go for the morning run let's get it boys okay so we're all set to go boys uh, i'm ready to rock at least 12 kilometers so let's get it let's just uh, fuck. <laughs> let's take this shit off boys i cut my hair yesterday I think it's pretty looking pretty good. Your boy is looking sexy again. Like I was looking like a homeless man. But yeah, it's getting colder here in Brazil, boys. So we just gotta grind it out. Long runs are literally the best runs. So let's freaking get it, boys. I'm excited. But before we go, let's just take one salt tab. That's something I've been taking care of more and more recently. Uh, taking proper sodium. Taking adequate sodium and electrolytes is super important for endurance athletes and especially if you're trying to build muscle also. So that's something that many people overlook. They don't take care of their hydration. They take care of their diet, but not of their hydration, boys. So now we're all set to go. Let's freaking smash this long run. Let's get it. I think that of all the training I do, the runs, the workouts, I think my long runs are actually the best thing for my mental health. You're literally the thing that keeps me sane, the thing that resets my week, week to week, because at the end of the week, like you've already worked hard, you accumulated a lot of stress, and although a long run can be fatiguing it relaxes so much of your mind you know and i really think that this has been one of the best things that i've ever did for my mental health I run at takes like two kilometers to get to so like it's not really worth it when I do my short runs like when I do my short runs I go to another place like a park where I used to live like next to and so it's like one kilometer to get there and then I ran I run like five laps around this park which is one kilometer each lap and then I head back home but for here it's like two kilometers to go and two kilometers to come back. So I only do really long runs over here. Like things more than 12 k you know, but it's perfect. It's actually perfect to like warm up two kilometers to warm up 
and then two kilometers to cool down. So it actually works out perfectly. Now we're heading back home. Part one of the day, done. Alright boys, so just got back from that run. I ran 15 kilometers in a bit less than uh, an hour and three minutes. I'm gonna put the stats over here in the screen. But yeah, it was a very nice run. Um, right now I'm starving of hunger, so part one of our day is officially over. I'm gonna take a bath and then I'm gonna eat because this afternoon we have an arm day coming boys and I'm gonna show you guys my arm day. So yeah, let's get to our, our bath and then let's eat because I'm really hungry. Alright boys, so I just took a quick nap. Always after eating, I take a quick nap because since I'm bulking right now, like I'm eating 800, 900 calories a sitting. So naturally I feel sleepy after eating because like all the blood goes to my stomach and then uh, this makes my stomach have to work and so I feel sleepy. That's totally normal. So I always do a literally 10 minute nap and then after that nap I feel so energized. And now I'm taking some tea. Been really enjoying taking tea recently. I talked about it in my last video. Because uh, like with tea, your energy levels, like it has caffeine. And so you, the energy levels from tea, they maintain a lot more throughout the day. Whereas with coffee, like you have a big spike of energy, but then it goes down real fast. So I've been really enjoying taking tea recently. And now we're going to work on some videos. And in about two to three hours, we're going to start our arm workout. So let's freaking get it. Alright boys, so now it's time to work out number two of the day. Just worked some and now we're gonna get a good arm pump. By the way, I don't run every single day. So if you haven't seen my weekly training plan, uh, the video that I made on this, I highly encourage you do. Just to show you guys that it is possible to work out many times during the day. So to work out a lot and still balance a lifestyle which you can follow and that it's like planned out and that you can still be productive with other areas of your life. So I highly encourage you to see this video, but for now, let's get an arm pump. So let's freaking get it, boys. You have to understand how consistency is important in working out and training. And it's not only for your body, but mostly for your mind, because the hardest part when you're doing like running, when you're working out, it's starting your training. So the thing is, you have to get used to getting out there and going for your workout. It's something that I have developed over time, like forcing myself at first to go into the gym, forcing myself at first to go run, and then now I'm so used to it that it's so much easier. It's not like, it doesn't take that mental load anymore to start working out, you know? So consistency can be a very powerful tool, and a way to improve this consistency is literally to do more workouts during the week, but with less intensity, like today, I actually had a very long run, so it wouldn't be realistic for me to go to the gym and hit like a leg day, even though I could have, and like I'm feeling very good right now because like this run, 14 kilometers, was literally so easy, and I probably could do a leg day today. However, you have to understand that setting yourself out to those very, very hard days, it's, and when you don't need to, like I'm gonna do legs tomorrow, like it's very important to set out days and realistic expectations. So I decided to go out here in my apartment gym and have a chill arm day. Sometimes this is the best thing you can do for your mind, for it not to have that mental load of like, not giving yourself an opportunity to skip your workout. That's what I'm trying to say here. So second and last workout of the day is officially done. Now we're on to our meal number three. As you all know, I'm on a bulk and so for any like diet, if you're trying to gain muscle, you have to try and eat something with protein every three to four hours to maximize muscle protein synthesis. So right now I'm gonna eat 
Um, my snack, my midday snack is around 4 p.m. right now and so let's freaking get it boys. We're gonna eat something with a lot of protein and I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm making some eggs right now and I know that I've did that I did like a thousand videos on my channel where I eat eggs in the morning as breakfast. But actually, I want to do an updated version of my diet because right now I changed things up a bit and I'm actually, I inverted what I ate in my breakfast to what I eat in the afternoon because like uh, I figured that since I wake up and like I'm still getting used to oh, waking up like in the morning, you know, like I don't feel like sometimes making eggs and so it's a lot easier to just take my whey protein and instead cook like in the afternoon and do something uh, for snacks. I just prefer that way. I, pe I feel like it's more productive, but nothing new like uh, I'm gonna eat four eggs right now and also some fruit just to get in your fruits boys so that's what I usually eat after my workout to fuel myself okay so now let's bang her down this meal and I think I'm also gonna do some uh, bread with peanut butter jelly but uh, yeah, this is basically my third meal of the day and after eating this, I'm actually gonna buy my supplements because I'm out of creatine and um, vitamin D and, um, and my supplements in general. So I'm gonna do that, see some people, see some light. It's like literally the best thing that you have to do for your mental health. So like get away, get out of your house, go for a walk, see some people and I Truly, I, I promise you that your mental health is gonna get better because like just staying at home alone Like I almost most of the time I'm alone because like I, I'm living alone right now But just seeing some people seeing some sunlight it really does wonders to your mental health All right boys, so after that I actually had my dinner and I always try to have my dinner and sleep around like two hours after because I don't like to eat and then go sleep directly that's not good for digestion and so throughout those two hours I always do some night journaling some self-reflection and I also read while drinking tea before going to bed so it's basically calming myself down um, getting rid of all the stress and reflecting upon my day and then sleeping nicely and so yeah that's what a typical day looks like uh, I try to balance four components in my life uh, four principles which first I would say is physical activity and all the goals that I have within physical activity which are running and bodybuilding right now focusing more on bodybuilding uh, the fourth one is work and the commitment I have with you guys in social media and posting regularly. The third one is actually mental health and mental health is something that I've been prioritizing for the longest time. If your mental health is on point then your physical health and everything else, your mind, everything is aligned and so that's something that I try to prioritize within my day. As you guys see in the morning I read one page and I med meditate upon uh, like um, the new thing that I learned in the morning and I also do a lot of self-reflection and journaling at night, all these things to prioritize my mental health as well as meditation running, which is something that I talked about a bit for you guys. And fourthly is learning. And uh, my father told me as I was a kid that if you don't learn something new every single day, you had a wasted day. So I've really taken this lesson into core and I try to learn something new every day and not just learn but actually reflect upon it and see if I can apply something new uh, into my day-to-day -day life. Finally, I don't want to spoil it but we just hit 10,000 subscribers boys. I'm freaking so happy like it's a dream that I've had ever since I was a little kid But I'm not gonna talk so much about that in this video because I'm, I'm gonna make a special video that is coming about that uh, But yeah, it's crazy to think about that like a week ago I had 800 subscribers and now like a week after I'm already at 15,000 subscribers. That's just freaking insane I really want to thank you guys and all the support you guys have been giving me and yeah I hope this video was valuable. Maybe you could take something of what I do during my day to apply to your own like maybe one of my principles so yeah I hope this video was valuable to you and see you guys on the next videos bunch of stuff coming so hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys later